A name we've gotten familiar with but haven't really heard much about in times is GAC, or GAC as some of out there refer to it. Things are about to dramatically change. Well, hear me out. Peugeot, you very well know. It's distributed by Astara Philippines, who are being very, very aggressive with the brand. And you can find reviews of their products on our YouTube channel. Now, Astara is also in the Philippines as a distributor of GAC, who will no doubt be as just as aggressive with their products. By mid-2023, they aim to have 15 dealers nationwide with sites all over NCR, outside the capital, Davao, and Cagayan de Oro. And as you may have seen on our YouTube shorts, they've marked it with the launch of two vehicles, the all-new GS8 and the first-generation MPOW. The GS8 is the flagship SUV that you may have seen a few examples on the road. It's a full-size seven-seater SUV and one of GAC Motors' most successful nameplates. Its robust silhouette gives the all-new GS8 a stately and executive persona with the model's signature four-bulb metric automatic LED headlights, 20-inch aluminum alloy wheels, and double chrome exhaust pipes complete its absolutely stellar look. And the fact that they launched it in this color could make the competition green with envy. Inside, you'll find a 14.6-inch HD touchscreen with phone mirroring capabilities, a 7-inch digital instrument cluster, a wireless mobile phone charging pad, multicolor intelligent ambient lighting, and a panoramic sunroof to name just a few of the vehicle's opulence. Under the hood is a two-liter four-cylinder turbo gasoline engine, which delivers 248 horses and an upgraded torque of 400 newton meters from the previous model, which is paired to an eight-speed automatic transmission. Now, the introductory price is pegged at 2,998,000 Philippine pesos till the end of March of 2023. Now, that might seem like a lot of money, but consider that it's actually in the same ballpark as the Mazda CX-8. Amidst the SUV crossover lineup of GAC is the lone compact sedan MPOW. Now, the MPOW is not all new, but rather just new because it's a first generation. And although our first experience with the sedan was under the controlled conditions of the launch floor, I have no doubt it will turn heads with its stellar good looks and extremely attractive price points. Immediately, you're drawn to the oversized front grille, LED headlamps with DRLs, 18-inch alloy wheels, and quad exhausts give the car a distinctly muscular appearance. The mid-level GB was shown at the launch, which was delicious enough, but, but the top model GE, which is soon to follow, has supercar-style colored leather panels, fighter jet-inspired seats, and carbon fiber materials. You're also greeted by a 7-inch digital instrument cluster and a 10.25-inch infotainment screen with Apple CarPlay, paddle shifters, and even a built-in negative iron air purifier. How about that? Powering the MPOW is a 1.5-liter four-cylinder gasoline turbo engine mated to a seven-speed wet DCT that produces 168 horses and 270 newton meters of torque, claimed to do zero to 100 in 6.95 seconds, which is believed to be the fastest acceleration for a compact sedan in its segment, a test I surely want to administer. The MPOW will be offered in three variants, starting at 1,135,000 Philippine pesos for the GS, another 80 grand for the GB, and 1,283,000 for the GE in matte fighter green. And my God, that matte fighter green looks sick. There seems to be a trend of really sleek sedans coming in from China because just recently we had the MG GT. Smooth as silk, the lines on that. So I'm thinking, Perhaps maybe in the same price range, a Comparo is due. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. 
Much like the GS8, these introductory prices are valid until March 31st of 2023 only. But wait, there's more. See, GAC also announced that there are two more models in the pipeline for this year to accompany the nine additional dealerships set to bring in Astara's arsenal to the forefront. Now, considering how Astara's, ever since that they took over Peugeot, has rocketed their sales by up to 300% more, I do believe that GAC is in great hands. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay safe. We'll see you soon.